Okay, so I am going to do um, an install of Wireshark and TCP dump. I'm going to, for, for TCP dump, I am going to use my um, Kali Linux setup. Um, here I am going to run a couple of commands. Um, I am going to do an install of TCP dump. And then to use TCP dump, um, real quick, I need to look at my config uh, for my IP and my network interfaces. So I have config. Um, I can see that this is my IP address and this is my adapter right here. Um, the other thing is to run it. Uh, I can also, let's see here, I can do th this. which is a command for our for TCP dump. And it will actually show me uh, all the various types of interfaces that I can connect to and use. Um, the other thing is I can actually, let's see here, run TCP dump. So here is what you get when you run TCP dump. This is just kind of running in real time. Uh, control C to stop. Um, the one thing that I want to do is do a quick capture and I want to be able to um, capture my ETH0 location and write it to a file, capture.pcap. So this is what I will do. Um, now the thing is while I'm doing that, usually you want to try to capture some sort of traffic. PowerShell here. Um, I can ping Google. So here you can see that. Um, I can do an NS lookup as well. And what I'd like to do is capture a little bit of video as well. So I'll just, I have a video kind of queued up here. I'm going to just run the video for a little bit. I think that's probably enough for, for me to capture. Um, and then I will stop this. So I'll just control C. Now it looks like it captured about 40 packets. Um, you can actually tell the, the file, but the, the thing is that it has nothing in the file. Um, that's very readable. It's gonna be um, uh, binary and kind of a dump. Uh, so what you have to do is actually use this TCP dump dash R and actually do a read and you can read that file. Um, when you read the file, it, it kind of gives you just this minimal information, it feels like. Um, but what you can do is you can add other switches on it, other parameters like dash E, which will give you the MAC address information. Uh, so you can see that. The other thing that you can do is you can actually just read one packet and on reading that one packet, let's see here. You can grab, you can, you can do the TCP dump dash R capture dot PCAP and then just capture one. This will actually just capture the very first packet or show you the very first packet. You can do this where it shows you um, the hex as well as the ASCII of the, the singular packet. Um, you can do this for each packet that you want to take a look at. Um, I think that's it for that. Okay, I want to show um, installing Wireshark. Uh, pretty simple, go to downloads, go to their website, go to downloads. Uh, open up the Windows installer, save this. And then go ahead and run that. Uh, pretty much go through just all of this. Um, next, next, next. You'll need to have NPCAP. 
actually um, installed this. This will um, install that for you. Um, you can have USB capture as well, but uh, probably not necessary right now. Uh, just hit it, install. next and finish and that is it for the install Let's see, now that Wireshark is installed um, you can actually use Wireshark um, have to actually start it as administrator and you'll see kind of it starts up and, and shows you all the various interfaces and it even starts to capture some things or at least show that there's network traffic um, let's see here the way you can run, usually you, you find your um, interface, and for me, this right here is my network adapter, a 10 gigabit um, physical connection. Now, the thing is that you can actually filter this list down. Um, the, the way to do this is go to capture options, um, go over here to manage interfaces, and you can unselect all of these, um, kind of see Here's all the various interfaces. I, I want to keep the zero the, the Ethernet 2 interface there. So I'll hit OK. And then I can start a capture right now, um, or I can close. Uh, I'll just close here. Here I can actually go and start as well. So capture, start, and then Control E is the shortcut. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a capture. And then I'm going to, again, bring up uh, my PowerShell. I'm going to do that same ping. Of Google and do an NS lookup um, and then I will run some video as well see if I can capture some of this traffic okay and that should be about it I'm going to stop the capture and then I will save this output um, I will save this as Wireshark underscore capture, and then um, let's see here it's in my downloads folder, so I'll just save it there. Uh, if you want to open that, you can actually just go over here to open, and you should be able to find that that PC AP and G file, and then you can you can open. I'll just do that now too. So this way you can kind of come back to uh, whatever's been captured and then do some analysis. One more thing that you can do is um, there was that capture that I, I had from the uh, TCP dump. Um, let me go ahead and get that data. Uh, it, you can go to WSL Kali Linux um, home and here was the capture file. I'm going to copy that file, go to my downloads location. That's where I had my other capture. I'm going to paste it there. And then in Wireshark, I'm going to go ahead and open this, open that uh, capture PCAP. Um, I'll open that. And you can kind of see that it provides you um, the various information that, that came from that, that other file. Um, you can even kind of dig into it and, and, and see kind of essentially the same thing that was, was there.